Welcome back to Lauren's Crazy Pet Show. We continue our coverage of the 145th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. And you know, one of my favorite things to watch is the master's agility. I mean, these dogs are absolutely amazing and they come in all shapes and sizes, ages, even mixed breeds can take part. So what is this one's name? This is Porky Pig. <laughs> And she's a rescue. She is. She came from the Humane Society. Ah, uh, and she's a little chihuahua. And here she is at the big tent in the big show. She, yes, she did the uh, standard run in the big agility ring with in the big tent. <laughs> so all the spectators, everything. She ran in there like she was a pro. Is she the most, the littlest one in the ring? Uh, she might be. She, uh -huh. We have been before. I had, didn't get to see everyone run, and I know there's a few dachshunds here and a few papillons, and some of those breeds run small also. Um, but she's four pounds. So we're probably close to the smallest at the trial. <laughs> One of the wonderful things about agility is it's a sport that all age dogs can compete in. And there's Rosie. She's 11 and a half. 11 and a half years old, and she's still running strong. Um, I've been blessed with a very healthy dog. Obviously, you want to make sure all their joints and everything are, are in good condition. We always give them, you know, the same kind of things we would take for ourselves when we start to get a little older and a little stiffer. We've been taking really good care of her, and she's running great. And I know she has so much fun doing it. She loves the sport. She loves the game. She loves the food after the game. <laughs> Not only, Nina, is Jack Daniel a agility star, he's also a TV star. Yes. Ceresto, Ceresto, Ceresto. Jake. He was the Ceresto dog several years ago. He's worked with Tom Brady. He did a Vince Camuto shoes ad that aired around New York City, and that was aired during the Super Bowl. Done a lot of things. I know. remember the Ceresto so well when he comes to the door all yeah, dirty. Yeah, all the things. That That's was still really shown fun. today. That's and so as you good. can see, he's getting a little older, but we're still here. He's still fit and happy, and we're ready to run. And is this your first time at Westminster? No, this is our fifth. Fifth time. Yeah. Fifth time. Probably his retirement year at this age so this is kind of a treat he can pretty much you know he has two agility championships so he can pretty much do whatever he wants and I'm happy with it so it's still great that he's a really healthy boxer still and is still able to do this and I'm really proud of him now for those who might not know what exactly is agility so agility is a sport where one dog works with one handler you navigate your way through an obstacle course for the most part there are always jumps and weave pulls there are often contact obstacles as well we run both to complete all the obstacles under the requirements, but we're also racing for time. So the goal is to do it all accurately and appropriately, but also as quick as you can. This is really an unusual dog. Oh, thank you. She's um, she's a Swedish Valhund, so it's a herding breed from Sweden. And she's quite accomplished. She is. She doesn't quite have her championship yet, but she's a master's agility dog. So she's um, qualified for this competition and then has a few titles beyond that as well. It's a long road to get here to, obviously this is Westminster. Explain how the agility works. Sure. So they measure dogs height at the withers, which is right here at the top of the shoulder. Um, and there's different classes. And so you jump, your jump, your dog jumps a height based on how tall they are at the shoulders. There are different titling levels to agility. So you start in novice and you have to have three qualifying runs in novice to move on. And in novice, you can make a couple mistakes, but they're limited. After you get three qualifying runs in novice, you move to open, which is a little stricter. Instead of six weave poles, you now have 12. There's more obstacles. The courses are more challenging. Once you get three open, you move on to excellent, where things are much harder and you have to be perfect so you cannot make mistakes. After three runs that are perfect and excellent, you move on to Masters. And once you're in Masters, your main goal is your Masters Agility titles, which are 10 perfect runs in both Standard and Jumpers. Jumpers is jumps, tunnels, and weave poles, and then Standard has the larger contact obstacles. But what most of us are working toward is the Masters Agility Championship, which is 20 perfect runs in Jumpers and Standard on the same day. So we call those double cues. You have to be perfect in both of those classes at the same time trial in the same day 20 times and get 750 points and you get points by each course has a, a maximum time 
every second that you're under that time, you get a point. So if it's a 55 second course and we can do it in 32, we get 23 points. So Val, she's somewhere over a thousand points at this point and we need six double Qs left for her championship. We don't see the courses usually until the day of the trial. And then before our run, we have eight minutes to walk it without our dog. So I can walk it in a group with other handlers to kind of plan where I want to be at what time, where do I want to switch what side she's on, and then we run it. So it's a challenge, a real challenge for both human and their dog. Yeah, I've gotten lost more than a couple times. Because <laughs> um, there's little numbers next to the obstacles, but it all goes very quickly. So if you don't remember where you're going, um, it's, it's challenging. It gets easier as you go, but it's tough. They were all so amazing, but there can only be one winner. And the winner of this year's Masters Agility Competition was none other than Verb the Border Collie, who actually won last year, too. There was also some stiff competition in the Masters Obedience Ring. The winner of the Masters Obedience Championship, a gorgeous Labrador Retriever named Augustus. But one win we had special interest in was the best of breed of the Newfoundlands. Just how did Bethany and Peek do? Well, Bethany, we're catching up with you and Peek right at the ring, and I'm sorry that you didn't win. Oh, that's okay, you can't win them all. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of beautiful dogs here. We had 19 entries, and she was just one of 19 beautiful dogs. So, you know, we're proud to be here either way, win or lose. We take home the best dog whether we win a ribbon or not. Always a winner. Yeah. So many beautiful Newfies, and look who we also bumped into. I know. I'm thrilled to see you. Hello. So happy to see you. The last time we saw you, or several times, we have seen Wrigley dancing. We have seen him dancing. We have seen him in draft trials. That's right. And we have seen him in water trials. That's right. And here we are at Westminster. And now he's in the beauty show, and I'm sorry <laughs> you didn't come in first, because we were hoping for oh, him. thank you so much. But you know, there's so many beautiful beautiful dogs here from all over the country. Just being here is a privilege and we're just honored to have had the judge examine him and to have him in the ring. We do pet therapy. He has obedience titles. He has a rally title. He has strict dog titles. He has a grand champion and he does swimming and he does draft work. And that's what noose are. They're just a good all round dog. Coming up next, some very special behind the scenes access. Stay tuned.